but showing the, the actual links and how glyphosate can cause it, because the argument against us is that correlation is not, not a cause, but we've got good scientific papers showing why it also causes it, but this correlation um, is so, so tight that it demands further investigation. The other one which, and I'll quote from it today because it's, it's relevant, is what I've tried to do is, it's not my opinion here, let's look at good experts. And one of my favourites is the, the US President's Cancer Panel report, which should have made a big impact because it's, you know, had 30 experts that worked on it from, you know, um, International Agency for Research in Cancer, the National Institutes of um, Health and Environmental Health, but some of the, the, the main agencies here in the USA and some of the world's best experts. And, and they particularly were concerned about the exposure of pesticides and chemicals and children, and they go into great great detail. Um, they, what they wanted to point out is the smaller body mass in relation to their exposure and for carcinogens. What they actually said in the report, which is really interesting because they include radiation here, but they, they said that they, an 80% of cancers are actually probably caused by chemicals in the environment, particularly pesticides, they see them out. To me, that's a report worth, worth reading. And yet, it received virtually no media, and it was just sort of swept under the carpet. But we're talking about some of the major experts here in the USA. They you know, talk about you know, the amount that, of chemicals that are crossing the placental barrier, and actually saying that babies are now being born pre polluted, and there's a lot of evidence of that. I cite other studies showing that. Uh, the environment, they also mentioned environmental working group, the fact that they found out 232 chemicals in the placental cord blood, which, you know, for me should have been an investigation itself instead of just forgetting about it. This, this should be sent alarm bells. The um, data showing, you know, and there's other very good data showing, you're looking at maternal blood, placental.